But before I begin, I want to express our nation's well wishes to Prime Minister Boris Johnson as he wages his own personal fight with the virus. All Americans are praying for him. He's a friend of mine. He's a great gentleman and a great leader. And he's, uh, as you know, he was uh, brought to the hospital today. But I'm, I'm hopeful and sure that he's going to be fine. He's a strong man, strong person. Directly to the hospitals and healthcare providers. Today, every patriotic American heart beats in solidarity with the incredible people of New York and New Jersey. They've really become a very hot zone, but. Some very good things are happening uh, in New York. The first time where the deaths were less from the previous day, that's the first drop so far. So maybe that's a good sign. It could be. And uh, the hospital levels are starting to uh, perhaps decrease. It's been very short, but perhaps decrease. So, And uh, we hope we're seeing a leveling off in the hottest spots of them all. So we'll see. You'll be seeing that over the next few days. Let's see what happens. But we see light at the end of the tunnel. Things are happening. Things are happening. We're starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully, in the not-too-distant future, we'll be uh, very proud of the job we all did. Can never be happy when so many people are dying. But we're going to be very proud of the job we did to keep the death down to an absolute minimum, the least it could have happened with this terrible terrible virus. And I think we all know that we have to reach a certain point, and that point is going to be a horrific point in terms of death. But it's also a point at which things are going to start changing. Uh, we're getting very close to that level right now. And uh, the next week and a half, two weeks are going to be uh, — I think they're going to be very difficult. At the same time, we understand what they represent and what that time represents. and. Hopefully, we can uh, get this over with, because this is a very horrible thing for the world. But I would also say that we're not going to know, really, in terms of a final uh, toll until we get out to the end. And, and we're probably, possibly not so far away. We're getting closer. Uh, but it's our goal to stay as far under that minimum number, the minimum number, as possible. Okay? Very hopeful that over the next week, although we'll see rising number of cases of people who s lose their lives to this illness, we're also hopeful to see a stabilization of cases across these large metro areas where the outbreak began several weeks ago.